Welcome back to Mac Mini Lessons. My name is Sarah Fuentes, and in today's lesson, we're going to talk about the interior angles of triangles and the triangle sum theorem. We've all made swords out of markers, but we're going to use this to talk about triangles today. And we're going to use all these different markers as links for triangles. So I have a four, three, twos. I have a one here. Here's another two. And we're going to look at an actual theorem to try and predict, can three side lengths make a triangle? So I'm going to start with one that I absolutely already know is true. What if I just have all the side lengths exactly the same? So in this case, all three sides of my triangles have a length of two, 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 and two. They all make a triangle. So let's write those measurements down for a second. So there was two, two, and two. And what this theorem says is that if I add any two sides, they will be bigger than the third. So this makes sense. If I add two of the sides together, I'll make these two, four is bigger than the third one. Make sense? So that's what we're gonna do. And even if I moved it around, if I have the same numbers, you're gonna see that. So let's try one that has different numbers. What if I had a two, a two, and a three? So we have a two, a two, and a three. Will this make a triangle? So I'm gonna put my three at the bottom. Yeah, this makes a triangle. So a two, two, and a three does make a triangle and it does also satisfy this theory that if I take two sides, like if I put the twos together, they are bigger than the three. And if I took a two and a three together, yep, two plus three makes five, that's also bigger than the other two. So it satisfies this theorem that two sides of the triangle when added together just have to be bigger than the third. So let's look at a case where it doesn't work. How about a four, a one, and a two? So we're gonna try those out. So here's a four, here's a one, and a two. And just by looking at it, you're saying, yeah, it's not gonna be big enough, and it doesn't. Look, look at how it's not enough to make a connection here. There's no way I can turn these into a triangle. And when I try with the theory and I try them out, well, my one and my two is not bigger than four. My two and my four make six. That is bigger than my one. So again, my one plus my two is definitely not bigger than four. If I try my one and my four, it is going to be bigger than two. Yeah, because I'll have five. And if I try to do my four and my two, that is going to be bigger than my one. That's going to make six altogether. But in order to be true, all three have to be true. So because one of my statements is not true, this will not make a triangle. We're going to try this out in two examples. On a real test, you're not going to have markers to make this, but we're going to use the same type of rule where we're going to choose this. Uh, this is side A, B, and C, and we're going to test is A plus B bigger than C? Is A plus C bigger than B? And our B plus C bigger than A. If all three of these statements are true, then we absolutely have a triangle. So let's try it out. So A's are equal to 22. So let's put it in there. So is 22 plus 30 bigger than 15? Yes. Let's try the second one. Is 22 plus 15 bigger than than 30. Well, yeah, this makes 37. So yeah, 
bigger than 30. So, so far we're two for two. This would make a triangle. And so let's try the third one. Would 30 plus 15 be bigger than 22? I don't even have to do the addition. Yes, this is true. Yes, this one is true. And yes, this one is true. So our overall is yes, this will make a triangle. Hit pause and jot this down into your notes. Let's try another one. And you can see they've actually given us the statement here. And given a triangle with sides 7, 10, and 5, which statement about the sides must be true? Now remember what we said, it means that the sum of any two sides has to be bigger than the third. So in this first one over here, this there is a sum of two sides, but it's saying it is smaller than the third. So nope, this is not a true statement to help prove what we're looking for. Let's try the second one. B plus C is less than A. No, we want the sum of two sides is greater than the third. Same thing on C. A plus C is less than B. No. So the only one I would satisfy is A plus B is bigger than C. And we could actually test that. 7 plus 10 is bigger than 5. So this is a statement that would help us prove whether or not our triangles our three sides would make a triangle.